it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post nude art related videos every single day. And today's video, I'm so excited because I have received the Penny's Box Antu Natural Wonderland sealed box in the mail today from a company called Kika Goods who offered to send this to me. And if you don't know my background with these, I was actually sent this one by one of you guys in my PO box and I fell in love and I've been trying to find more ever since, but I found out that there was a centaur set coming out. I'll put a picture here and I've been trying to get a hold of it from my proxy, but they are so popular. They're selling out instantly. My proxy cannot get a hold of them fast enough. So <laughs> more on that later, but Kika Goods is a distributor that easily distributes these to the U.S. So this one, I did not purchase. It was sent to me so that I could review it for you guys and share it with you. But no, I'm not being paid for this review. And I do have a discount code that you guys can use. It is just so that they can decide if they want to send me more products in the future. I am not going to profit off of that code. Anyways, this is the box. It's so cute. So you can see our full set that we can get a hold of here, including the one we already have. But there's actually... A secret seventh one that you could get that I believe is based on a goldfish or a koi and I'm really interested in this one so hopefully hopefully we get that one but I don't know um and yeah so Kika Goods sells these they're actually on sale right now for I believe around $20 each but if you buy the bundle sets you get them um, a little bit cheaper per figure and then there's also my promo code which is 10% off guys so as you can see there's three different series of these penny box figures the pre-orders are sold out for the dreamlike tea party which are the centaurs which i'm so sad about i really want these um but i will find them and i will review them for you guys i promise you that um but we also have the nature wonderland which are the ones we just reviewed and the school of fancies so this one says 2.99 but it's actually referring to like these extra hands you could buy i think yeah, so they have different hands you can buy, which is actually pretty cool, so you can have more to go with your doll. But we're going to do a set of six, so you can see that they're on sale right now. It's showing the picture of the hands for some reason, but a set of six for $125, you can add it to your cart. And then and then if you use my code XCanadensis, and again, I'm not profiting off of the code, I don't have affiliate like credits or anything, it's just so they can track how this video did, I guess. Um, you can get 10% off, so there you go. And that's just if you guys are interested in these. And thank you so much again to Kika Goods for sending them to me. And they, again, they have so many different things. What are these? Yeah, they have like so many different ones of these like art figures available. They're so cool. So um, yeah, let me know if you want to see more videos from me related to these. Oh my God. No, I have to, I have to click away right now. Look at these. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that's Kika Goods. Um, so I just wanted to show you the website and like what you would actually pay for this box if you were interested in getting it. So now let's open it up. I wanted to open it with you guys because I've never opened one of these before. So there's this really cute little sticker that says Penny's Box and that is to ensure that it hasn't been tampered with, which is nice because there is like a secret figure that you could get. And I wonder how, like what the seating rate of that secret figure is, like how... How likely are you to get it? And you can see that the box is actually, it's a shipping box, but you could also do the perforations. You could tear them. And then um, there's like a little pop-up up here I'll show you. So you could actually have this be a display box at a store, or it could be a display box for you in your collection, whatever you want. And it's pretty cute. See this little baby sticking up. Uh, so yeah, so the boxes are kind of bigger than I remember, but let's get them out of here. I'm so excited. So this part, will be torn by the oh well now i can't keep the display box well that's my bad don't do what i just did <laughs> okay get them out of there okay so here is our first figure they come individually packaged like this and these are just so cool from the one that i already have they're just really high quality and nice and it seems like there's a lot of mixing and matching that you could do too which is a fun prospect of these so you can actually take the hair off and the little heads so you could switch a lot of things out and then of course the outfits can be changed too so even if I do ultimately end up getting a double of this character, which I very likely will, um, it's fine. I can I can work with that. Um, but yeah, so these dolls are just really nice. They're actually strung too, which I'm not used to. You can see that. So kind of like a BJD, they are strung. They're just really fascinating little art dolls. And I just love the way that the faces are done. I think they're so cute. All right, so let's unbox our first one. So you can see our options. And I have no idea what animal most of these are supposed to be, to be honest with you. Like, I think mine's a bunny. They all have unicorn horns. This is called the Warm Adventure. I don't know. Um, but they're very, very cute regardless, which I am pretty, pretty, pretty excited about. All right, so let's pull the tear strip and see who we got. I'm so excited because these are so cool. And thank you for introducing these to me, by the way. You know who you are. I wasn't sure if I should say your name here or not. Um, okay, but you can make yourself known in the comments. Okay, so we got this one, who I think is probably like a... 
I mean, I'm thinking something cat related because I don't know why. Hmm, maybe like a big cat, but this one's flocked. <gasps> wow, okay, I cannot even describe the way the hair feels. Like this part, I don't think is flocked, but it has this really, really nice, wow, really soft. The quality of these is just so fantastic. And then they've got the little unicorn horn and these little hair ties are flocked as well as the ears, which is really cute. And for some reason she reminds me of like a cheetah, but I think she's probably intended to be a bear. But it's just hard to say, I don't know. Um, but look how cute. So I can show you the articulation of these dolls now. So they have this chest joint. You can see that it's all strung. So it's a bit different than normal um, articulation that you guys are used to on, you know, Barbies and Monster High and Rainbow High and stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. Like it works pretty well. Sometimes the strings will get like overextended. So my doll, for example, just for full disclosure, she will sit like no matter what she will try to sit. Like you have her standing up and her legs will see how they like pop forward. Um, and that's just a thing with strong dolls, but I'm sure there's ways to circumvent that that I'm just not familiar with because I don't know, I've never dealt with strong dolls before. And you guys know, um, kind of a lesser quality version of a strong doll with the monster high dolls because they had strong elastic hips before. This is a bit different. This is the string that you're actually supposed to use for this, but yeah. So anyway, let's put her little dress on her. I just can't believe the quality of the clothing on these. It's so nice. Like, look at this in this small scale those little buttons sewn on like you don't even get that with barbie dolls anymore and just the materials are all really nice you can see that tiny little trim it's actually fully lined on the inside so nice so so cute so let's put this little dress on our little baby i really like this one's face i don't know she has like a really sweet little face on her she's so cute okay let's put her little socks on her it's really impressive that i think like I mean, the two that I have so far, they come with little socks. They're so cute. These dolls are really nice. And I hope that this is a trend that continues with these, like, art dolls. Because these little art figures with companies like Pop Mart and stuff, which Kika Goods sells all sorts of these things. So if you guys are interested in anything like this, I highly recommend checking out this website. I had so much fun perusing it, and they were so sweet to me. Um, and yeah, if they get those centaurs in, I'm going to be buying them up so quick. They did have them up for pre-order, but I'll let you guys know if they're still available or not um, when this video goes up, because I just want those so bad, those little centaurs. All right, so let's put her little shoes on. I just, I love these. I love, love, love these little dolls. They're so sweet. Okay, so here is our new little friend. Sorry, the shoes, um, they're, they're nice little shoes, but because of the shape of the feet and the shape of the shoes, it's pretty hard to keep them on the feet. Like, they fly off. Um, you can, you've already observe that with my rabbit i'm still not sure if she's a rabbit or not so maybe the strings being too tight is an issue on this one and that's why they're popping forward i'm not sure but you can see here the difference in the faces uh the main difference that i'm seeing other than just the eye color is i have a little mole on this one right next to the eye it's really sweet and then also the bangs are making the eyebrows look different so let me actually look it's almost like redder over here okay i kind of want to look at the the eyebrows on this one. Oh. I was not expecting that. No eyebrows. Just look how darling the little faces on these dolls are. And I can't get over this material. I'm telling you, like, this is a, you can see that it's a kind of like a shiny plastic. It doesn't feel like this. This has like a suede finish to it. It's so nice feeling. I love that. Love this one. Okay. So this is my two new favorite just on feeling alone because she's just so satisfying to hold in my hand. Like, I'm just intrigued. And I love the little flocked ears. I wonder why the bunny doesn't have flocked ears like that. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love these little things. They kind of remind me of Kimono Friends. Like little Kimono Friends dolls. All right, now let's sit her up over here and let's take a look at our next one. So here we go. I don't know if there's any kind of code, but I guess that doesn't super matter. Or there wouldn't be a code actually because there's a secret one. Um, but also you would, because we're in America, most of us, uh, America or Europe, I don't believe these are in stores. Although I think they're in stores in like some stores in like Canada and stuff, but I don't know. <gasps> Is this the secret one? No way. I don't... <gasps> I think it is. No? Okay, okay. I was like, wait, no way. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I saw the bow and I was like, wait. Okay, so this is... I, I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. I have no idea what these creatures are. Maybe it says underneath. If I figure out what the creatures are, I will tell you. Okay, so this one's ears are interpreted as a bow. That's why I didn't think it was her. Um, because of the little bow thing. Oh yeah, I forgot they have little cards. So here is the little card for this character. And then my other one, I misplaced the card. There we go. Found it. Here's the other one's card. Super, super cute. All right. 
And then let's get her out of here. So there's this little plastic to protect her. Okay. I love that they all have different finishes on them depending on what they are. So that's like really cool. So this one has like an extremely glossy finish because she's meant to be glossier. I wonder what she's supposed to be. I hope I can get some clarity on that. If if it doesn't say what they are and you guys just have like a stab at it, you think you know, please let me know. Well, they have little symbols on their outfits, so I should be able to tell. But I'm just really, is that a rabbit? Are those the eyes? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, so her dress, oh, it's so cute. Is she a cat? I just don't think so, but maybe. Um, the shininess is throwing me off on this one because it makes me think she's fish related, but I know the special one is fish related. All right, so this is what this dress looks like. And I just love that they're fully lined like that. That's so unusual, especially at the scale. Unheard of. All right, so let's put this on our little doll. Although I am speaking on my knowledge of mainly, um, you know, US and European release dolls. So um, maybe it's more common with mini dolls from other countries. Yeah, because there are a lot of like adult collector oriented mini dolls in like, at least Japan, I know that. So I don't know, pretty cool. You guys probably, some of you guys probably have way more knowledge about this than me. And if you do, I would love to hear about it. So let me know if you'd like. Okay, so here she is. I really like this one because she has a wink that's like different. So she is winking, which is really cool. And then also her eyebrows are different. They're like thicker. And she has a heart in her eye. So these two have pretty similar faces, but then this one has a little heart in the eye. And again, you can mix and match all of these parts, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Um, and uh, these are so fun. These are so much fun. So I'm not even worried about getting a double because I will have fun mixing and matching them or I can have little twins. Like, oh my God, she's so cute. So she seems to have like less blushing on the mouth than the others and her ears are not nearly as red. So interesting, but that could just be like occasionally one doesn't come out with as much blushing as the other. It might not be intentional. I don't know. Um, but there she is. She's so cute. Look at her. Sorry, I'm moving her head like this. I'm having fun doing it. I just, she's like really shiny. It's so interesting. I really like this sculpted hair. Ordinarily, I'm not a fan of sculpted hair at all, but this is really, really fun. And by the way, guys, this doll, she has been through it. I've been carrying her all around the house. She's come to work with me. She's my little work doll. Like, and I don't, I don't ever have doll related stuff in my work office. Um, but this doll in particular gets to come with me because I just really love having her in my car. Like she gets to sit um, in the center console in the little cup holders and stuff. She has so much fun. Uh, and that's like, these dolls are friend shaped. Like they're so friend. They're my friend. Okay. So my favorite one so far, um, I think it's going to, I'm going to go with this one. This one's the most unique so far because of the different face, but I just can't get over how this one feels. And I think this one will be really hard to beat. She's so cute, but I just, I really love these. I just, look at this, how the dresses are all a pretty similar shape, you know, so that, and the shoes are all the same. These are just so cute and fun. I really love, I love the different finishes on the hair. It adds so much. It adds so much. Okay. And then the next one here, let's get her out of here. <laughs> I'm just, anytime there's one of these little perforated like tracks that is supposed to be so satisfying to open. Oh yeah, that was better. I just can't do it. Something like it's in my DNA to mess that up. All right, let's see who we got. So it looks like we got this cat one. I just assume it's a cat, maybe a bat. Man, no symbols on the outfit. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry if I just sound really dumb, but it's like, they all just have really cute little ears and it's hard to say, oh my God. Okay, this is my favorite. I haven't even put the outfit on her yet, but wow. She has little braids and these little barrettes in her hair and I love her ears really. Oh, <gasps> they're semi-transparent. The hair is, <gasps> the hair is translucent, but just barely. And you can tell at the tops of the ears. That is so cool. Whoa, okay. And look at her. She's so cute. I love that blue in the hair, the black with the blue. That's so cute. In the picture, she looks purple. See? So I really appreciate that she's actually blue. I think that's really cute. And I'm going with bat for her. Even though she doesn't have wings or anything, I don't think they would have given them wings personally. And I don't know. She just she kind of has a bat vibe to me. Oh, she has black socks. So that's something different. And this dress is very cute. It gives me no hints on what animal she is. But look, she has the little buttons. I love the dresses with the little buttons. The little animal symbols make them seem a little bit more juvenile, even though these seem to be um, dolls of kids. But, you know, like, I just think these little dresses are a lot cuter. I don't know. <laughs> Barely a difference, right? Because it's either buttons or the little animal symbol. But I like this. I think this is really cute. It's prettier. Okay. So, yeah, raising her little hand in the air. Oh, she's so cute. So the dress is actually still purple. 
Um, which in the picture, it's definitely purple. Like, it's the same color. But the hair on mine is very blue, which I prefer. Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's a batching thing, because it seems like the hair is... I'm really impressed with the way that they do the paint on these. So these are potentially stamped, but all the blushing in this is either some kind of dry brush or an airbrush, which... I love the look of airbrush stuff on um, toys in general. If you've ever had Littles Pet Shops from the original, ori like the original Hasbro run of them, so early 2000s, they have like airbrush patterns on them and I just think it's so cute. So, so cute. Okay. This is going to be a definite new work friend for me. I would, I would rotate them. Don't worry. I'm not just going to abandon my, my little bunny friend or they can all just go sit in my office. Like, I don't know. That's why you haven't even really been seating that doll around my house because I tend to leave her at work. Okay, so here is this one. How cute! Oh my gosh, I really like this one. I love her little socks. They're not like all the way black. They're like a navy blue, which is very cute, and I love this dress. I love, love, love this dress. I love the little collar. They all have the same collar, but like the dresses, the patterns are so nice. I really love this. Okay, so this one's my favorite looks wise, but this one's still my favorite because I can't get over how the suede finish feels. I hope there's another one with that because I really like it. I think this girl might be like a ram or something and I like her horns a lot, if that's what those are, I can't tell. Okay, so here's our four so far. Uh, this one I've already had and she was sent to me by one of you and I love her so much. And then these three are the ones that we've unboxed so far. So we still have three more to go. So we have three more chances to either complete the set or interrupt the set and get the special goldfish, Koi, or whatever she is, girl. All right, let's see. Hmm, this is a light gray. Might be this one. Oh, okay, so we got our bunny friend again. Uh, this one is going to a good home, but we will not be unboxing her because, or I'll do some mix and match potentially with this one. We'll see. Um, we will see, because that would be fun to show you guys. Um, but yes, I do already have that one, so I will be saving the unboxing experience, the full unboxing experience of that one for my friend. Okay, next, let's see who is in here. Okay, so here we have what I think is the Ram character, and I'm very excited about this. And just so you know, you're not gonna, I don't think you're, you can get doubles in these sets. I got a double because I, I literally, I already owned this one. You guys did not see me unbox her. Okay, so where are the horns? Are the horns separate pieces? Whoa, okay. So, oh my god. Okay, new best one. Oh, yes, and she has the suede finish. Okay, this best one. Okay, I, her skin tone is really, really pretty, but also I love these little eyelashes. The eyelashes are what sell it to me. <gasps> and she has that suede finish. It's it's just so nice. What is this? I need all dolls to be made out of this material from now on. It feels so nice. Oh my god, she's so cute. So I'm going with her being like a goat or a sheep because of the horns, but I really don't know. In fact, maybe they're not meant to be specific animals. I don't know. The bunny one feels like a bunny to me, though, personally. Like, that, that's a bunny. But, I don't know, the other ones, I'm just like, uh, animal with pointy ears or animal with round ears? That could be a lot of things. And this one, oh my god, the little dress. So here's her little card, by the way. Which has really dreamy colors. Like, most of the other ones aren't so fa- No, they're pretty faded looking, I guess. I love her expression. She's just so sad. She's so cute. Oh my god. Okay, so- that's probably the best one, but I don't know. We, we haven't opened this one yet, and I'm not really sure what that one's deal is either. Like, what kind of animal is that? I have no idea. Um, but also, we might not get that one. We might get the goldfish or the whatever it is. I don't know. Because it's just, that one is just mixed into the box, which I think that's a fun idea, but at the same time, that means that if you get the special one, you're also missing one of the regular ones, which likely means that you're going to have to buy, like, a whole other box worth, unless you get really lucky, to get the one you're missing, right? So... It's interesting. All right, it'll be, what are the odds that it's that last box? I'm just, I'm assuming it's this one and I'm fine with that. Okay, so, wow, these are so cute. <gasps> so they just click right in and you could glue them if you didn't like how they were fitting. And the reason that they click on like that is because they're made out of a different material. So they just leave it up to us. And it's this really pretty, like iridescent, but also transparent. Ooh, you see how translucent it is? So it reminds of her ears, but... Ooh, I really like these two bluier ones. Okay, and then let's put her teeny tiny little socks on. She's so cute. Oh my god. All right. And she has little purple eyes. I love the blushing on her. She has like a different color of blushing on her and it's like much more intense than the others. And I love that heavy blush look, which is one of the um, things that I really like about these dolls is that they're like really, really intensely blushed. 
I'm really excited that Kika Goods reached out to send these to me because I was going to um, get the centaurs specifically next and review them for you guys, but now I get to like warn you about the centaurs first. <laughs> um, and you guys can hopefully be able to get a hold of these if you're hoping to get them because I don't know how readily available they've been from other markets. And yeah, so here she is, with her little socks on, and then let's put her teeny tiny little shoes on. There we go. Oop, she is so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, so this is this girl. I hope that the things underneath them are names and not just the name of the animals because I'm just very curious what their little names are. So here she is. So, well, I'm sorry, cheetah, bear, girl. For some reason, I really want her to be a cheetah because of the color, but that's very like bear looking. But cheetahs do have round ears and these aren't necessarily like fully round. These are almost like cheetah shaped for real. Like that's what I'm thinking. But this is more of like a bear silhouette. So I really don't know. Um, but these two, this was my favorite one, but now I think this one is because the she also has that suede hair and that's the thing. Like, I really like that suede hair. She is so darling and she has the buttons. She has the buttons. It seems like more of them have the buttons than not because it seems like this girl. Oh, is she a cow? Oh, that's cute. She's a cow theme. I feel bad that I ripped up that box. I, I actually wanted to keep that, but it's okay. Um, it's probably better that I don't keep it. All right, so let's see who our last one is. I'm going to close my eyes for this. They're closed, I swear. Okay. Did we get the good one, guys? Did we get her? I mean, all of them are good ones, to be clear, but... Hmm, okay. There's nothing in the box, right? Okay. So, I'm just gonna open her, and I'll probably be able to tell. Oh. Alright, I think we got the cowgirl. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see, like... Oh, the shoes. If we had gotten the goldfish one, you would have seen first. Or whatever she's supposed to be. Again, I don't know. Okay, so interesting. What is this? So, it looks like the hair is done differently on this one. Is it not removable on this one? It probably is. It's probably just a little bit stuck. I don't know. Okay. But I think that she is cow themed because of her outfit. So these would be like the horns, I guess. And this color scheme in her hair is super pretty. They didn't just go with the like, um, kind of the safe option, which would just be like black and white. And I think that's really cute. Um, so here is her little card. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, and they have like the scene behind them because it seems like they all are like either just at the bakery or they're working at the bakery it's not clear but it is a cute little setting okay so let's put her outfit on her so her hair is like this one so you get to well this one comes out of nowhere kind of because of that semi-transparent hair this one's so interesting but these two have the same hair finish like how shiny they are these two have that same suede finish in the hair and then this one just has like a really like smooth shiny plastic hair and then this one has kind of a similar thing to the bunny one except this one has like again that really pretty semi transparent top on it so it's really interesting okay so let's dress up our cute little cowgirl oh her collar i mean maybe this is just a matching thing but her collar seems like it's bigger than the others but it is also black so it's probably just drawing my attention more than the other ones were um so let's put her little dress on her. I love these little dresses. I love them. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. So I actually, for context on these art dolls while we dress this one, I bought some like earlier last year, probably around June, so that I could review them for you guys, but I just never had uploaded the video. And it was these little cat ones. They were really cute. I wonder if they're still available anywhere, but they were just little cats and I, I was in love with them and I bought only one and I probably should have bought more truly because I really liked them. Um, but I just never ended up posting the video, but I really like that doll. Like she, um, I'm going to go with he, I was, I was interpreting the character as a boy, but he was very like, he was so cute. It carried him around a lot. Right now he's in, um, waiting to be on display. Oh, the, the shoes are painted on this one. <gasps> That's different. Um, he's waiting to go on display in this room at some point. So he's in the bin with all the things that need to go on display in this room, all the mini things. Um, but I just really liked him and they fit Kelly doll clothes, which I think is really cool. I mean, some Kelly doll clothes, as you can see the gown, what would probably fit more like a gown on a Kelly would probably like be ankle length on these. Cause they're a little bit taller. Um, and I'll bring over a Barbie doll to show you guys the size difference. Okay. So here is our little cow baby and I'll show you that they can stand on their own. Some of them have more trouble standing on their own than others. Cause it really just depends on the the like stringing of the dolls I guess and how good you put the shoes on because sometimes the socks will bunch up and make it harder to put on the shoes but so yeah all right y'all it's time for the grand reveal of who everybody is because I used the google translate app and it seemed to produce pretty good results so this one is the cow 
This one, I was extremely surprised because I was not expecting this, but this one is marked as a Timberwolf. And I don't know if the translator's messing up, but it's saying Buddhist Timberwolf. I don't know what that means, but it's probably just the translator messing up because sometimes it'll interpret words wrong. Um, and then this one is the, like, it was like sheep on the hill. So I'm still going with Ram on this one. The big horn sheep. And then this one was a bear. This one had two different translations. So one was bear on a honeycomb, like bear with a honeycomb. And there was another one, but I don't remember what it was. But anyway, this one's a bear. This one surprised me. This, I mean, I was extremely surprised by the Timberwolf one. But this one, I would never have guessed. I mean, even from the drawing on the shirt, I don't even think I had guessed this. But this one's supposed to be a house cat. It was called Foster Cat. And then this one is House Lop. So yeah, now I wanted to show you that yes, these dolls do fit in Kelly Barbie doll clothes. So like the little baby Barbies, they can share clothes. The shoes almost fit to the point where I think if you used a blow dryer, they would fit fully. Um, and the clothing fits extremely well, actually. Again, the dress, this one fits more like a gown on the other doll. It's a little bit short on this one, but I mean, it fits perfectly. Look at that. And I'm also using this stand. I will link it in the description. It's meant, meant to be for action figures, but I use it for any mini dolls that I have and it works pretty well. Although if your doll has looser strings like my house lap does, this one actually doesn't. This one's just having trouble because she's wearing the wrong shoes. Um, you might have some trouble with the stand, but it works pretty good. Just, I wouldn't recommend putting all of the pieces on. You can just put two, um, and it would hold a lot better, I think, because it would have a lot less bulk. And then I also wanted to show you, oops, I set her aside. <laughs> um, this one is how the Kelly doll looks. So the shoes are enormously too big. The socks fit decently well, but you can see that they are too big, and the flat foot is making it kind of look wrong on the leg, I guess, because it's kind of coming up here because it's a little bit too big but the dress actually fits super well it's definitely too big but it's not like obvious and I think it looks super cute on the Kelly doll but I did pick the Magic of Pegasus Kelly doll so um doesn't quite match her aesthetic but you know and then I wanted to show what these dolls look like next to my Barbie extra doll here just to show you the size difference so there you go not even half a Barbie tall they're very short very very cute little mini dolls and they're like surprisingly heavy like even compared to a barbie doll they're pretty um heavier than you think they are like when you pick up a kelly versus one of these this one has a lot more weight to it and it's because these ones are made out of like a really it's a really nice material but the hair specifically is super heavy on these which is why um even on the stand you can have some trouble standing them up because that they're very top heavy so again even on a stand you'll have some trouble so Anyway, that's it for this video. Again, I wanted to give a huge thank you to Kika Goods for sending these to me. I am completely in love with them. And instead of fighting for my life trying to order these from Taobao like I've been doing, I will probably just stick with Kika Goods now because they have really good shipping deals. And also, they helped me out today and I really appreciate it. So um, if you guys are interested in checking them out, again, I will have all the information about that in the description. And I'm just hugely grateful. So... Um, I, these are blind packaged, so you can't pick your character, which I know is going to be a deal breaker for some people, but personally, I don't think there's a bad one to get here. Maybe some of these designs don't appeal to you as much. I think this is definitely the winner. Uh, she's just too cute, but I appreciate that you can guarantee yourself what is probably going to be the complete set by buying the six pack. Uh, you could end up getting the secret figure. Like, I remember seeing somebody's reviews, it was either on Instagram or a blog, of these particular figures, and they actually ended up getting the secret from a pack of two that they bought, so, um, you can also get the secret one, because again, they're not marked, so I don't, the companies aren't, like, separating them from the boxes or anything, because it's a sealed box. Um, but yeah, so, uh, these are the winners for me because I just love the suede hair so much, but my favorite designs overall, I'm going to think about this. This is definitely one of my favorite designs. I think that the horns are a complete knockout. I really like her face expression and they all do have subtle differences in their facial expressions. So you'll see that this one has this little eyelid here and then these eyelashes while this one who has a fairly similar expression. You can see that the eyelashes are quite different and no eyebrows on this one. So there are subtle differences in the eye shape and the expression on the dolls. This one has the eyelashes facing upward. I'm so surprised this is a wolf. I can I can see it because of the ears now, but I was just thinking bat for some reason. I don't know. Um, hmm. I really like the the lop. She's super, super cute. Um, yeah, I think these three are my favorites. Ah, wait. Hmm. Really like you. I'm gonna go with these three because truly if this one didn't have the suede hair oh but the flocked ears too this one's the only one with flocked ears and i super like it um but these three are the ones that i think like in a vacuum 
like if this suede situation wasn't going on these are the three that i would pick it's i really really like these three this one is the particular like best one to me the dress is really really fun and it's also pretty i mean these dresses in particular are very like you could use this on a lot of your dolls which is super fun they can mix and match with each other and it wouldn't be too like weird this one is very cow themed though but she's so cute i really like this little cow one she's so cute these are darling little dolls darling darling little dolls and i'm so excited to add more to my collection uh you can see that i definitely need to buy more stands for these um <laughs> i picked the wrong stand today so you build these stands by hands the ones that i bought these aren't affiliated with me or anything i just genuinely like them and I use them for my dolls so um I kind of have to do it like this when you could have I could have just built it with these two pieces and not done this piece uh but anyway put this on the doll so you can put it around the neck or around the waist I generally go with the waist but neck actually holds better generally on um mini dolls yeah so the big problem with them standing and something that maybe they I would say I hope they work on is that the shoes don't stay on the best as you can see so i'm actually gonna take them off to see if we can just get her to stay well that one's sticking on just fine yeah it's it's an issue with the sock fitting um <laughs> they're so cute they're so cute okay so you kind of have to play around with it quite a bit to get them to stand on the stand but i've returned i was fighting a losing battle trying to use this stand so when you build the stand you can opt to not use all the pieces so that's what i did on this particular one you can see that I didn't use this last third piece, and it makes this one work a lot better for the minifigures that I use these stands for. So, let me show you. Again, this isn't sponsored, but I know, like, I had a really hard time finding stands for my mini dolls, so I just wanted to help you guys out. But, um, yeah, so the stands aren't affiliated with me. I was gifted these little dolls. But anyway, you just put this around your little doll, and then you gotta fiddle with it a little bit. Because it's not made for a set size of toy, you know? And then... There you go. Because the base of these stands isn't super heavy, it's not... Um, it's not the stand that's holding it up, it's the fact that you're giving the doll, like, an extra leg, I guess. And there you go. So, she is standing up. So, it's really good for display. I use it for my, like, Winx mini dolls and my Kelly dolls. That's why this one was over here, because I use it for my Magic of Pegasus Kelly doll. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this video. I would love to know what you guys think of these in general. Would you like to see more reviews of these? Because there are other Penny's Box sets that I've been looking at, especially the Centaur one, uh, and I'd be happy to review them for you guys. Just let me know if you're interested. Otherwise, we can put them in a different style of video, but I don't know. I wanted to give these their own full video, and thank you so much again to Kika Goods for sending these to me for the purposes of review, and if you'd like to support them or get a hold of these dolls or both, check them out. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye. I forgot to ask, and I think it's important. Who is your favorite? Is it the timber wolf? Is it the bighorn sheep? Question mark. Is it the cow? Is it the foster cat? Question mark. <laughs> Not sure about that one, but I'll take it. Is it the house lop? The shoes could use some work. <laughs> I wish they were like little Mary Janes. They would sound better. Or the little bear. Let me know. Okay, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!